Now there are lots of wineries here in Ngambi, but if you want to visit one of the oldest, then you can't go past to Bilk Winery. And I'm here with Jeff, who's going to tell us all about the history. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Tabilk started its life as a winery back in 1860. It was a, a pastoral property before then, uh, like they were growing lucerne and the like. And then a group of Melbourne businessmen uh, formed a company to start Tabilk as a winery. Mm -hmm. uh, this building that we're standing in now was built at the same time. In 1925, the Purbrick family purchased Tabilk, yes. uh, originally to subdivide it into smaller farmlets. Uh, but the, the son of the original purchaser, Reginald, Reginald Purbrick, um, uh, Eric, he decided that he wanted to give it a, a fly as a vineyard and essentially came out here and in 1931 took over management of the property and essentially turned the fortunes of, of the property around. And what sort of wines have evolved over the years? Well, we, we, I guess we started our, our, our history with the plantings, with reds. Certainly yeah. Shiraz was a very yeah. strong grape varietal for us in the early days. But we've taken the, the Masan, a white grape varietal that we'll try in a second, has really probably yeah. taken over a bit of the mantle of uh, flying the flag for Dubilk, if you like. Yeah. Uh, it's a wine that, as a young wine, very fresh and crisp and then does develop a lovely richness with age. Uh, another wine that I I wanted you to try, I mentioned it briefly before, was our Shiraz. 1860 vine Shiraz. Now this is made from the original Shiraz vines planted on the property in 1860 yeah. uh, and we've been making a dedicated wine from those vines since 1979 when Alistair Purbrick took over. So this is Fantastic. made from some of the oldest Shiraz vines in the world. Now Jeff, obviously people come to the cellar door here but what else is on offer? In September 2005, we opened uh, our uh, Wetlands Cafe and also there's a Wetlands and Wildlife Reserve that that cafe overlooks. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Jeff. No worries. We're actually going to cross to Paul now, who's on the Wetlands Cruise, having a chat to Captain Jeff. I'm here with Jeff and we're on a Wetland Wildlife Cruise. And to Bill, Jeff, Good. you're the captain? I certainly am. And, uh, the cruises run twice a day, public holidays and weekends, 1 o'clock and at 2.30. Yeah. And uh, they last for around about an hour and you have the opportunity in that time to get off the boat and go for a walk on the trails that are uh, on the uh, wildlife reserve. And you also have the opportunity to walk the entire wildlife reserve from the cafe returning to the cafe. Yeah. And that takes about an hour and a quarter, hour and 20 minutes. 